Welcome back. As you may know, I recently went on a fitness journey myself and participated in my first bodybuilding competition, and I'm currently getting ready for my next one in June. Awesome. We all know that getting fit builds our confidence. Staying fit may be another hurdle of its own. Here to help us keep it together, though, is certified <laughs> fitness and nutrition specialist Taryn Hutchinson. Yeah, thank Taryn you. Hutchinson. Appreciate yes. you. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Oh for my God. Me. Well, thank you. You're looking. First of all, you're looking like the bomb. You're all muscled up down here. You appreciate look sharp. It. Working hard. Working and the hard table smells it. amazing. Now, you have not always been fit, right, Taryn? Correct. Correct. You've had some battles with yourself, yeah. even some battles with diabetes. Yes. Talk to us about how you overcame that and what th what put you into this nutrition world. You know, I overcame type 2 diabetes. I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. I know that's Sick right. and tired of injecting myself with the insulin. Oh, my sick goodness. and tired of popping metformin. Mm -hmm. I got tired of it. I got yeah. tired of looking for that fatty pocket to mm. inject the needles, right? I got mm. tired of that. So I had to transform my life. But before right. they, I had to do that, I had to transform my mindset. Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. Um, diabetes mm. maintenance is a $327 billion a year industry yeah. on maintenance. Mm -hmm. So my job, I figured, is to help everybody to reverse that and save some of that money in the long run. Yes. Okay, so that became, my, me my mess became my message. So do you think that you know, you talk about having to do the injections and the, mm -hmm. and the process of that. Do you think that that mental um, routine kind of blocked you from being able to get up and get started? What was um, the moment? Talk to us about that moment that you decided, you know what, the first thing I'm going to do is... <laughs> Well, the first moment was when I got my first medication. Okay. It was $166 for a medicine called Lantus at the time. I had I great insurance, it. but, but it, it didn't. But it was still $166. It was $166 a week, four weeks, $644, 12 months. That mm. came out to almost $8,000 a year. Wow. The average diabetic uh, user it's going to span an average of ten thousand to sixteen thousand dollars a year mm. just on diabetes maintenance. Mm. So that was the you know the the the, the point that I say you know what let's get it together. Yeah. Okay. Let's get it together. It's I have too to expensive save money. to be unhealthy. It costs too much to and be sick. And nobody got time for it. Nobody got time for diabetes. It costs too much to be sick. Okay. So talk to us about the steps of reversing it because a lot of people think that it's just like a death sentence. When you say yeah. diabetes, they yeah. think, oh man, I'm not <laughs> yeah. gonna have it forever. I'm yeah. gonna die. Yeah. So talk to us about um, how you started to reverse oh. it. Talk with your primary physician. Yes. Talk to with your dietitians. Mm -hmm. um, control your stress levels. Okay. Okay, that's the main thing. Especially yeah. if you have a dream job mm -hmm. and it's a nightmare, mm -hmm. that's a stressor. I know Identify that's your stressors, okay? Mm -hmm. Identify the foods that you're eating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure that you eating from the glycemic index. Yes. Making sure that you're making sure that everything is under at least 50 milligrams of sugar, right? So you can stabilize the Balance insulin levels. Vegetables, mm -hmm. fruits, mm. lean greens, uh, berries, uh, oranges, apples, healthy fats like olives, okay? Yeah. I got tuna I'm, here for protein, yeah. protein powder, chicken pieces, beans and legumes for the vegetarians, mm -hmm. yep. you know, stuff like that. And I all this stuff looks yeah. good, so it's a myth that you can't eat good and it tastes good. good. Right, you can still make healthy meals mm -hmm. out of this. These are mixed nuts right here, a lot of fiber, a lot of uh, potassium and everything, But protein. I see something over here, though. Yes. That, now, this I, that is in my house right now. <laughs> and it's a food. Right. But it's not for me, but my kids like this here honey yeah, bun. Yeah, yeah, honey bun. Talk yeah. to us about this honey bun and this here Doritos, because oh, I are, like Doritos, no, too. Okay, so this is like 25 grams of sugar. You do not want to eat this on a regular basis, okay? Terrible. These are a dollar a piece. You get a box for a dollar, like mm -hmm. six in it. You want to stay away from all yes. this, right? Same thing with the Doritos. This is going to raise your blood glucose mm -hmm. level. If you're diabetic, you want to stay away from these chips, uh, uh, honey buns, cookies, anything. I got some cookies right here for the cookie monsters out mm -hmm. there. So you want to make sure you stay away from a lot of these things, mm -hmm. okay? So make sure you always go back to the healthy stuff, to the fruits. Mm -hmm. Now every once in a while, it's okay, you may have like 17 pieces of right. chips, okay? <laughs> That's the recommended amount right. most diet mm -hmm. But I will recommend stay away from this as much as possible if you're trying to reverse type two yeah. diabetes. It's a big deal, Yeah. okay? Okay, because he's 17 turned into 34. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's easy with me. A big bag. Mm -hmm. Then that turned into 50 something. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, <easy. laughs> but when it's not supposed to. Right. Um, this is a lifestyle change yeah. overall. And there are certain things that we have to do to kind of combat our stress. Yeah. What were some of the things that you had to do to control your stress 
and you had to exercise yeah. and monitor your eating because yeah. it's all of that in one, and that's pretty tough to do. Yeah, that's it's very difficult to do, but you have to identify your triggers. Mm, that's, it doesn't that's matter key. if it's work, re, uh, unhealthy relationships, mm -hmm. your environment, anything can trigger that, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got to control your stress levels. Yeah. Now, when it comes down to proper nutrition, you always got to go back to the garden to the table. Uh, right. concept right mm -hmm. all right so that's all that you have to do and purposeful exercise 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 it doesn't matter if you walking around a neighborhood for 30 minutes walking the dog doing laundry whatever but if you're just walking on a treadmill you're not you're wasting your time okay yeah, yeah. get out there and do purposeful exercise all right mm -hmm. so make sure that you are purposely exercising at at least 160 minutes per week Okay, hours per week, excuse me, hours per week, but at least you're getting 60 minutes in per day, okay? All right, Terrence, you got all of this going on uh -huh. in your body too. Now, what else you got going on for the people? Oh, right now we got the podcast, uh, Your Best Lifestyle Podcast mm -hmm. on Spotify, Apple, mm -hmm. Stitcher, soon to be on Pandora, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and on iTunes Radio, okay? And uh, we got the uh, Define One's Team magazine that's mm -hmm. out. It's a magazine that's uh, created by teens, by teens, okay? Well, Terrence, I'm so proud of you. Thank I'm you. so excited for you, and thank you so much for helping us with our diet you. and fitness. We yes, needed to see you. this today. You can learn more about Terrence Hutchinson and his nutrition programs by heading to his <laughs> website, yourbestlifestyles.com. We will be right back. This was so needed. So many people think they can't.